<laughs> What's up, everybody? Hey. We are here at Comic Convos here for, for another uh, episode. Oh, we have a ton of new viewers, dude. Wow, um, yeah, a ton coming out tonight. What's up, definitely. Thomas? Good to see you. Martin, nice to see you as well. Hello, hello. This podcast, hey Thomas, this podcast is actually about the latest in the geek verse. We talk about things in TV, movies, comics, huge one, comics especially, um, and video games, and we just talk about the latest in each, pretty much hit each parameter, I would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Cover in most, fresh. Yeah, in most episodes. Um, we have a theme per episode that we generally focus on, but we also talk about other stuff because the best thing about our podcast is that the conversation is aimed towards you you yes. steer this conversation like we're just a couple geeks you know we could talk all day about this stuff anything but I mean, it's just it's just us two we want you guys you to guys make the conversation a lot more meaningful by interacting with us like me and leo we already know what we think and we've talked a bunch we want to know what you think about things uh, you know, your take on, you know, maybe the new comic, maybe the new movie. We, we want to know what your favorite movie is from that series. All kinds of stuff. And so... Any lovers of the never-ending story? Me! Me! this guy is all The never-ending never story! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, warning. Terrible axle singing all the time. Um, <laughs> Impromptu, man. I like it. Fun sound. It's super fun. Thanks for coming in, Thomas, as well as... Yeah, thank uh, you, guys. Thank everybody, you guys Martin Lee Walk. Yeah, Susie. Uh, we, Thanks for Susie, coming back. Susie, I long... Oh, we gotta do that. Uh, at the beginning wait. of every show, uh, we actually have a Patreon account, which is basically a gun GoFundMe for entertainment, mm -hmm. where you can subscribe and get uh, early access, uh, specific content, and some of the little memes we do every week. And uh, we have a couple uh, different donators who, uh, who are also loyal fans who always show up, and so we have to give them a shout-out yeah. at the beginning of every episode. Uh, and we'd Susie, like to give a yeah. shout out to Susie Marie. Thank you very much. Tyler, Tyler Lockridge and Cy Kendi. Thank oh, you guys Cy. so much for supporting Special us. Special shout out to Cy, who is always watching out. us at like one in the morning. Right? Every I time. mean, I think it's about three o'clock. So I correct us if we're wrong, but yeah, it's, it's very late, late where he's at. And thank you so much for tuning in every time. Yes, just sharing in a few. Hey, thanks, thank you, Cy. Thank you so also, much, Cy. Susie Marie. Susie, guys. And then his oh, your thank podcast. You. Uh, Thomas was saying he has a podcast starting on Mondays, oh, and that's what. About his never awesome. ending story. We'll have to check that out. Yeah, There's a lot of share it with us, man. We'll definitely come story. through. Hello, Kenneth Altiveros. <laughs> and then we also, I know, yeah, Kenneth Altiveros, Reed. Uh, Thank and you for also, coming. we wanted to give a shout out to the group, by the way, the Geek Secret Files. Thank you so much yes. for sharing the video. Like, you yeah, guys, are I fantastic. we appreciate it so Great much. Great page. Thank you for coming out tonight. We love having new people in at the cast. And, oh my goodness, it's 2.30 in the morning where he's at. Jesus, Sai. Thank you so much for showing up and, and for everyone else for showing up. Yeah, we really do appreciate it. Thank you guys so, so much. much. Tonight, so, we want to touch oh. on Sam Raimi's Spider Man. Spider Man! Spidey! I think this is a Spider Man, right? <laughs> oh, well, this is a web of, of Shadows shirt. Nice. Really like that that's spot. real nice, man. How oh, did you like that's that the game. game. Yeah, that's I was right. just about to ask you how did you like that? I, I thought it was alright. It was, it was the definitely problem, not the best Spider-Man game. The, yeah, I mean, the best Spider-Man game is still the PlayStation yeah, 1, man. There's no beating Woo! it. With the uh, symbiote Dr. Ock final boss, oh, my no goodness. beating no it. And beating. That, and that, like, that's so original, the running. Oh, man, that's mm -hmm. so great. That's amazing. Never Ending Minute is the podcast. Look forward to seeing you guys there talking about the movie one minute at a time. Awesome. awesome. We'll definitely be there. Sam loves Sam. I... So we were talking about it. I have a love-hate relationship with Sam Raimi. So here, here's the thing that we both pretty much agree with in the Sam Raimi movies. The Sam Raimi movies are good, but they're not... For Spider-Man fans, like true Spider-Man comic fans, they weren't great. They We liked them because they were Spider-Man films, and they were the only ones at the time, but they weren't spectacular. They weren't no, the no, Peter no, no. Parker that I wanted initially. No. But I was cool with it because it was the only Spider-Man film Not only that, that as much as... And at here's first. and here's the thing. At first, the movie is super actually spot on for Pretty a lot of it. It's, it's movement, not so much. It's very quick. Is what's the problem with Sam Raimi Spider Man? A lot of the time, he moves through so quickly, so quickly. But we do have Sam. No, Sam, no. I can we just get the, the awful game. Jumanji remake out of the way? Uh -huh. <laughs> but at least it's got the rock, right? And it's got a cool video and, game. And, 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 and the and thing is, like, cool. the, the next Jumanji was never going to be that great without Robin. And, and even with the rock, same, it's still same not with Alive Aladdin, like yeah. you just can't do it. Like I agree. there's irreplaceable characters, and that's one. And Genie is one of them. Yeah. And sure. then also Thomas said that I can't wait for the new game. Me either. It looks very Arkham uh, oh. style, but that's okay. I really but we're like cool that. With that yeah, right? I, I mean, it looks so good. Like I, mean, I said, no, everyone's gonna give it. 
big Ooh, crap for right? ripping off Arkham, Arkham and it's but like, no one gives Arkham crap for ripping off Assassin's, Assassin's Creed, Creed or and Assassin's Creed ripping off of games before. Like games just rip off of each other, guys. It's nothing new. Sam Spider Man took multiple characters and melded them together. Definitely. Definitely, I will say the character that they got spot freaking on is J Jonah Jameson though. He is spot. He, on. That is the perfect J Jonah Jameson. Perfect. That's maybe one of the you, perfect castings. Having said that, uh, Defoe is also probably my favorite. Green Goblin, Green Goblin ever, period. and that is, and that includes animated, uh, comic book, like he, any, any he depiction. brought he Green is Goblin to life. Fantastic! Oh Why does no one ever talk about him as a Green Goblin? I think it's because he dies. Yeah, and I think it's because he was using that one movie, and then he was like barely mentioned. I mean, I know he is in three, especially because of Harry. But right, but no, mm, realistically, he I think he, he had have, such a big problem, and then he just kind of kind of just dropped off. But I loved him. Bioshock. As, Bioshock, yes. fantastic. It looks like, like Arkham, Arkham mixed with God, God of War, War, which I would enjoy. I'm cool with that. Yeah, Sam exactly. Spider Man took. Well, yep. Uh, Defoe didn't, didn't even, even need a mask. He, <laughs> <laughs> dang. <laughs> he was Savage shots enough. fired. Uh, bang, he bang. is an evil looking guy, but I mean, he was the though. best He's thing very about him being villains. Green Goblin is that I was convinced that this was a guy that meant his shit. And, like, you get these villains today that mm, the reason why they're not so good is because they kind of pop in and pop out. He has a presence through that entire, entire movie. film. So, he pops so up let's, very let's early talk and about, then goes through. Let's talk about recent villains and far as even maybe the Wonder Woman villain being the fact that they're not present enough. Definitely. The, I mean, the very few exceptions being the notable villains such as Heath Ledger's Joker, such as... It's hard Sam after that. Sam Raimi's, you know, Spider-Man's uh, Goblin. Goblin. I, mean, I mean, actually, except for the comic book integrity, the the villain, except for three, oh. the villains in one and two are amazing. Fantastic. Doc even is played. Oh, Doc Ock Like, because he's really not evil, good. he's just evil. That's, that's <laughs> the way he wants to, the world to be. Yeah, he's you know, trying he to fix the world and he to... doesn't care the cost. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you guys already see the movie... Uh, uh, I have Leo already has, seen Homecoming. I have not. Very totally good movie. agree. Awesome. Thanks, Santiago. Uh, also, welcome, Santiago. We, uh, yeah, we mentioned Andre Thanks for they coming out. In. And then we got Sai. Hey, Mikey. I've heard amazing things about the movie. The best one yet has been mentioned. I've heard that from Leo. I'll do a small touch in. I will say this is the best Spider Man yet. Sup, guys. Would you have would have joined earlier, but was watching Arrow. Totally get that. No I'm worries. catching up myself. I um, but I will say about Spider-Man Homecoming, here's what I'm going to say about it. Spider-Man Homecoming is the Spider-Man development that we've always wanted. This is Peter Parker at the very, very beginning of his powers, like a year after. It's not even that long after, and I know the other films are like that, but, but they, they, don't, they don't realistically depict him just freshly right, getting they're his all powers. Like, oh man, look how in control he is. Right, he made. got his powers his... yesterday, and he could swing from the top of the building. And like, he can control like, it what? so well, it doesn't go out on him. Like That was a big part of uh, the coming of age Spider-Man and right? he good constantly to, had issues with his powers comment constantly here. We got good oh. to me the energy about this movie felt different than the other two I'm hoping this will be as good as Wonder Woman it was definitely different and that's that's what I say about Homecoming I haven't told Axel it's almost hard to compare because this is a big development story it's a very coming of age very like Spider-Man is a teenager and he's got powers and he's growing up and he's learning to use them more and more that's what this movie is basically like I won't spoil past that, but that's pretty much, and that's that's not even spoiling because yeah. the trailers depict that themselves. Right. This but, is this has seemed to be very much that, and like you said, the developed. vibe even of the trailers. Our and our biggest issue with the trailers being so much information given, which that was the other thing you told me that I don't think is detrimental to story, is that a lot of the trailer stuff didn't. A lot even, of the trailer stuff doesn't even show up, guys, and it's the bad stuff. The good stuff is still in there. When are they going to start? Uh, seven. I oh, yeah, July 7th yeah, is when it 7th. comes out. Um, so, you can we'll, see it on the 6th, too. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Well, yeah. You gotta you go to the... Thursday, yeah. That's true. You can do what we do. <laughs> <laughs> or what Leo does and get it. Uh, also, earlier, Thomas Howes said, I like being able to understand a villain's motives. Agreed. If they're... They must... Seriously. They need to be clear... Clear, concise, and make sense for the villain. I, not like, just that. They need to be clear, oh. concise. It makes sense uh, to a point. You know, you could be the Joker, but that makes sense to him. Yeah, you know? it, it, I was going to say but that. But more importantly, it has to be powerful. Also, yeah. you can't have such... Okay, so and he's got to be powerful. Clinton. He's got to be powerful to the point where he's not incredibly OP, because we want to save that villain for an even Later, further yes. down movie, which we were saying was the problem I... with Wonder Woman. What's up, Lachlan? What's up, man? Good to see you here. 
Um, but yeah, it's like that was the good thing about the Green Goblin. He had motives that a made sense, were present for a long time in the film, and lined up with this character. And that's very what I much wanted. So. It very much. Same so with lined same up with, with the him. Doc Ock run, and partially with Sandman, not so much with Venom. <sighs> Venom, the motives were clear, but the character portrayal was, was bad. Was terrible. Eric Foreman? Seriously. Eric Foreman as Eddie Brock? He's like this little scrawny guy, and he's like, like don't I want to beat down can... Peter Parker because yes. he got me fired. I'm like, really? Even I when mean, he was all venomed out, fired, but even when he was all venomed out, didn't look didn't scary. look good. Didn't, didn't look, look good, good or all. scary. It looked it you, looked like they were trying too much to make. Him... Here's the thing: even with Defoe's crap Green Goblin suit, which was like, eh, five out of ten, bro. Five out of ten. Even with that, it was scary. It was. Shitty scoop, but it he was made definitely it scary. Intimidating. Yep, and that was the best part. It was like they tried to make Venom look like this Tom fake Tom Hardy is perfect. perfect. I think he's a good ro fit for the role. I have to see. Uh, that's I my thing say, is I, I don't know because he's judge, a very wide-ranging actor. He is. But mm -hmm. unfortunately with wide-ranging actors, that can also lead to, like, types of... Heroes being... They only are do good as heroes or they only do good as certain roles. I know exactly what you're saying. And even just, like, sometimes... So my bi my other biggest example, and it's a problem that happens with bigger stars like Tom Hardy, mm -hmm. is you bring your character to the character. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and the biggest, yeah. The biggest culprit of that lately that I saw was Andrew Fassbender in the Alien movie. Honestly, in anything in the last, like, two years. Like, yeah, because yes, he has the he same, does... same type in every role. He's right. got that very, like mysterious, quiet guy type of attitude that can get super pissed off. I really loved Wonder Woman, but the villain was too absent, too obscure. Exactly. Exactly. And then uh, Lachlan says, Thomas, that's always how Ares was. To a point, Ares n never himself stepped in, but his actions were always clearly yeah, felt. Yeah, you always had, you always had consequences. Not only that, they, they played it too much, they played too much of the Oh, maybe there is no Ares at all. Yeah, definitely. Which was, that <laughs> which was, was a thing. Which in the is, air would for have been cool if there was no Ares in the end. It would have been awesome if they got to the end. It's like, no, Diana, there's no one to kill, and make you. That would have been a bigger twist, and it would have led up to Ares being there later. later yeah, possibly. awesome, awesome stuff. And not to say that the ending wasn't great, but that's valid. I. I haven't seen Wonder Woman. Been slagging. It's all right. You can't see everything, man. Yeah, Trust me. It, it's good. But it's good. It's worth seeing. It's, it's worth, worth seeing, seeing in the theater. But you know, take your time. Take Whenever time. you can see it, you'll, um, be, you'll it, like it. But it? like you said, the, the very small complaints we've ever had have been with the, of that movie have been with the villain. The villain, big complaint. Because like like we were saying, we're, big, he was not. But like I said, they they can they, you they go after that though. That was that was our big complaint though. Can you go after that? And that's and that's something that Rainy did really well. I think was. Stacking up levels. the villains, and and that, and I was like, okay, so when Spider-Man Three originally the trailer and everything got released, what I'm thinking as a kid is I'm like, okay, Venom is gonna be a villain that's even better than the last two, and I was stoked, guys. I was, I, mean, it, I, I was, was so I was, excited. And I've had, been waiting my whole life basically to see, see the nineties. Well, I, what I wanted was a recreation of the nineties cartoon. Oh yeah, dude. that's all I wanted. Oh, it's so good, it's so dude. perfect. The clock tower, the the interference from other superheroes that give them a chance to shine. To shine yep, like, like Shocker you know and Rhino, I believe, are the ones now, and it's like yeah, and it's like eh. don't, no, those are fucking great filler characters. You well, don't even what have I was to thinking is that I thought they were going to build to a Sinister Six. That's where yes, I thought and, they were going, and that's that's my own point too, and that's where I thought they were, especially because they went Green Goblin, who is a great standalone villain. He stands Perfect, up to Spider-Man on every level by himself. Mm -hmm. Then they jump to Doc Ock. Doc Ock actually overpowers Spider-Man Spider -Man on almost a lot of the time. Well, not I mean, just that. On most levels, first time, first time wise, they met, he beat Spider-Man a okay. couple times. I mean, it's oh, like I mean, he beat the, the crap first out of him in too. the first like few appearances of Doctor Octopus and like. What is it, it is Spider-Man number 17 or something? Oh, he, like, God. pops up the first time, and he's like, I can't beat this guy. He's got four arms, robotic. He's got two yeah, arms it, on it his was, own. He's got a well, not brain only that, superior to mine. Like I said, he was scientifically superior. The only thing that put Ock at a disadvantage early on was hubris. Mm -hmm. Hubris and confidence. Uh, let's hit the comments, because we'll, we'll get stuck in that. Right, we will. Oh, my G, sorry for spoiling. Still haven't seen one. Oh, uh, no sorry. worries. It, it happens. It's, it's out. It's been out for a while. All is good I have selective memory. Yes, yes, he <laughs> Even does. as a... <laughs> yes, he does. As like, I like watched the cartoon, my three-year-old daughter I watched literally it. just yes. watched it a month or two ago and so watched the good. whole thing back Fantastic. then. Fantastic. So every, every piece of it, the 
The introductions of other characters like Doctor Strange and the Punisher. Punisher. Oh, amazing. Man, the Punisher they don't do it like great. that anymore. They don't. And don't get me wrong, the modern day ones are good, but just not on the level of They're those. not as on point as those. Well, I think were. the storytelling in the old ones was much more powerful, driven, and like even you if can... it wasn't as exciting, sometimes the it was The storytelling was just still very good, and you could even say that about X-Men, too. Also, also Transformers, Transformers is awful. awful. Well, halfways anyway. Ooh, I left. Oh wow, you left. I've you never left. left. I've yeah. never left any theater for Sci any have movie. You, do you like leave? I mean, like, let me I've ask never, you that question. But do it's because I don't want to Commonly, waste or is that like, was that like a first time thing? Like, Spider Man: The Rights and Actors would change. I mean, that's which is an is a very common thing. Also, why would you waste money and then leave the theater? It's at least entertaining. I thought for Transformers. Seen. I do like the Justice League cartoon, Young Justice. Fantastic. Love them. Yep, great. Young Prime Justice example. season three coming Ooh. back, guys. Very soon. They said they've already got a couple episodes. To five. Finish. Yeah, yep, they got five done, and it's going on the DC streaming service, which will also be a comic <sighs> service as well. I'm so not happy about that. Trans, uh, yeah, not that one, but the the comment earlier about the actor switches. That's pretty common. I didn't see that one. Uh, it was from Adam Felon, which, by the way, welcome to the chat. Thank you. Transformers Dink. Oh, no, wait. They one more down. To do. They have tried to do that with each Spider Man, then rights and actors would change. And the thing about that is that's the lack of pre planning. Spider Man's such a big title, you know he gets a trilogy every time something comes out. Like, like we knew as soon as Tom Holland good, it didn't matter how good this movie was doing. <sighs> Here's the issue with Spider Man. And I'm going to flat out say one of the biggest, I'm not going to say is the only one. One of the biggest issues is Sony, and I'm calling them out because always the first the first three or that that third one was so terrible that Sam Raimi left. It was so bad that he was just like, "Go on now." Um, the second series with um, Andrew Garfield, Sony basically chopped up an excuse to get rid of him, and I was like, "That's so dumb." Like they chopped up some excuse that he was like unprofessional and that he wouldn't really fit the role, and I'm like. Eh, he was a good Spidey. Maybe it's not fine. You already Peter did. Parker. Here's my thing. You already did two movies, so obviously and the second it one was shaky anyway. Yeah, like the second Amazing Spider-Man. Organic was or mechanical webbing? Mechanical every mechanical, time. Mechanical. Uh, yes, we we had just actually were talking about that, uh, Lachlan, about the '90s Spider-Man <sighs> show. So good. Probably I mean, one of the better ever. Of the better of any. Series period, like I mean, yeah. it's just one of the best ones. And, and it's hacky, hackney as night. A lot of '90s shows are. Don't get me wrong. Not as hackney as the '60s shows. Yeah, and it's cheesy but in it's a some cheesy. ways. But the the dialogue is great. The storytelling is fantastic. The character even the voice acting is, is not bad, man. Like you said, bringing in the actor, bringing in the other characters is great. I just wish one series would ride out long enough to develop the Sinister Six. There's the flaws is, in each one. Secret Wars. Sweet, I love the Secret Wars. They do in it. Yeah, yeah. they do 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 yeah. Secret Wars, which is awesome. You get to see the Beyonder and Madam Web. Oh, I love that art Get to see the whole. Line and then they there. they actually have Fantastic. another one that was made in the same styling in the same year. It's not as good. Spider Man Ultimate. Watch that now, you guys got me. I know it's so awesome, man. Oh, the intro to too. I know. And we talked about this on the last one, and I was right about the arrow. You were. Later. You were. <laughs> Yay! I'm right for once. By the way, they do include the theme in the movie. Yes. Yeah, they got the the, the strings theme. theme. Yep. Yeah, it's it's an orchestra. I just wish one series would ride out long. Oh, yeah, I've seen that one. Uh, the thing about it is, first of all, it would take a lot of work to ride in six villains. Think of any... Think of, like, Avengers, but for the Sinister Six. Not and even, not even like, that many movies and that many, like, connections and, like, this whole universe. But you got to have these guys have a motive to meet up for a reason. Like, they all want to kill Spider-Man. What did he do to these guys? And you don't even have to do every villain. Like, you don't have to say, okay, Spider-Man meets this villain, bam, that's one of them. Right. Okay, here's another, here's another. You don't have to do all those films, but there has to be a reason why they all come together. And right, or even, and, the, and you do have to introduce a couple of them first. Yeah. And like I said, to do that, I mean, name me a series that has that many villains. Jordan, any what's series? up? Hey, and that's what makes Spider-Man so awesome. He takes on the Sinister Six Oh, he takes Oh, all, all the time. Uh, right now we got a Mikey comment, which was, I was actually under the impression that the new Spider-Man movie was that his outfit was most of his power this time around. And that's not correct, unfortunately. Uh, it's just that he's getting mm, augmented. He has a good suit. Yeah, he and has like an Iron Man. He's got like an Iron uh, Spider A light, almost. Iron Man light. Yeah, it, yeah, I would say it's like a light, 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 light oh, Iron yeah. Spider. Like very, oh, very I wouldn't light. even compare it to that. Like I said, it, it's basically you just a film. It's it's definitely it's definitely. I mean, got I some saw the stuff, but 
the the Iron Spider suit was just an Iron Man suit for Spider Man. It did everything that. Uh, see the film though, like that's what I'm saying. I mean, it's I, like, I'll see it. You gotta you gotta check I, it out. I, it's like a very very light version of that. Once he removes the well, yeah. Not I'll, I'll have to it. look. I know the. Li I, I mean, they talk about it in yeah, the thing, I'm the limiter and the web thing. It. But like I said, the Civil War one is like a whole thing. But see, you're not hitting what exactly why that's I, I went the Iron Spider route because. That, uh, I just can't. I can't. I, know, I can't I know. spoil. I'll, you gotta see it. it. You gotta see it. Uh, there's there's a reason oh, why. Man, it he kinda sent reminded a me link, that. which is review Spider-Man: Homecoming review. Tom Holland. Tom Holland's a great Spider-Man, by the way. He's a great Spider-Man and Peter Parker, and I'm like, he is a perfect combo that we needed. He's exactly who we needed in Spider-Man and Peter Parker, and that's why I appreciate about. We're gonna see him about in this space movie. too. Can't wait for them suits. I'm not very fond of the Spider-Man space guard. Yeah, I think I was. Spider-Man belongs in New York. He's a ground hero, and that and that's. He's a ground street level right. hero. He's he a is. high level street level hero. Don't get me wrong, but, but he's a street level, and that's where he belongs. That's fine. Lately, they've and like I honestly uh, the man, new Spider-Man. Have you read a lot of it? I'm not that fond of it because he's global. Because he's like a, uh, you know he's like a big billionaire now. I mean, even more than that, like, the, t the stuff he handles is on another level, like, his quips can't get through the same level. Yeah, he's it's just like... not the same, sp it's not the same Spider-Man, and, and that happens, you know. He grows and characters change, change yes. But, I yeah. like Tom, but not what they did with a few of the other characters, like Aunt May, what is going on. Okay, She gets um, younger in every film. Actually, watch the film, she's not as young as you think. Um, she Does she just look young? She just looks young. That okay. actress is like near. She's like mid fifties, near sixty. I mean, we know like she is. But well, the thing is, lady. people see people see Aunt Aunt May as, as like seventy. Really old, and, yeah, yeah. Really old. I like Tom, and, uh, but Daredevil. he'll never meet Daredevil. She's still hot. Uh, that, actually, no. They they, they, can, they they confirmed. They confirmed the no not show. Gonna do it. When did they confirm this? Oh, sh like because recently they that Kevin Feige said that he they're gonna appear. Yeah, uh, I heard that. Yeah, anyway. that's my thing. Yeah, I honest. heard that one, and then almost immediately after he announced he, he that there was no wasn't. way, whatever. It's it, it, like, it was. Eh. It's always up and down. It's the same thing as like, oh, the Venom movie's gonna be part of the Marvel universe. Well, well that lady, that lady said that, and then Kevin Feige came and was like, no, actually, it's not. And then she came forward and said it's not. So it's like, whatever. I know, but at the time, it's like the same thing all the time. Like, come on, stop. She's with actually that. age appropriate. She just looks younger. Like I said once again, she's ageish. And well, not even that. Like I said, people think of Aunt May as seventy Super plus, old. white I mean, hair. Yeah, that's how she's depicted. She's, she's got from the white beginning, hair. pretty yep. much. Yeah, she's got white hair, pulled back most of the time. Seems kind of oldish. Grandma, I was okay with Aunt May. I was like, mm, my thing is, it's not the biggest. Lady, and my it's thing not is, it's a not. Big deal. Yeah, it's like it's not a biggest. That's not the important. It's like you can brush over May. I'm fine with that. Right, and uh, and you can't brush over Uncle Ben. That, it's like once you see the film, it's just. Yeah, ah, she's. I, like, I'm glad though. Uh, mm. Yep. See, that's why. I, that's why I can't watch shit early. <laughs> can't say too much, guys. Can't uh, say too that's much. That's funny. Uh, well, so we got a lot of people in today. We're doing good. Uh, let's. Should we take some questions or? Yeah, maybe ask yeah, guys. Question? Um. Okay, let's line it up this way because I know a lot haven't seen Homecoming yet because it hasn't come out. But how are we feeling about the Sam Raimi versus Amazing Spider-Man? How do you feel about those? I, I know a lot of people came forward and said that they liked Amazing Spider-Man better than 3 and better than 2. I can't say it's better than 1, though. Because as much as I liked the villain in Amazing Spider-Man 1, I just didn't like him as much as Green Goblin. I thought he was fantastic. He was great. But he wasn't Green Goblin. Nope. The problem... I think that most of the problem Lizard with the Amazing thing. series is... Lizard was pretty good but the rest but of he but every great. other villain in amazing spider-man series eh, electro sorry jamie i didn't like nope. the i didn't <laughs> like the depiction i didn't like the the run it wasn't just, jamie fox at all it was right, just the like, way no. they had him play that character exactly. uh then you had oh harry was bad harry was so he was bad, bad. He was so bad. I'm like, are you serious? This you guys don't tiny even know how long it took to me to watch the, the second Amazing Spider-Man. It took forever. Garfield is a good Spider-Man. McGuire is a better Peter. Yep. We've talked about that and a that's lot. That's exactly same. pretty much what we think. And unfortunately, and I think the biggest difference comes down to villains between the two films. And honestly, the Spider-Man <laughs> 3 is almost indistinguishable from 
the Amazing Spider-Man series. It's besides bad. the fact that Peter and Andrew, I almost you know, feel like we just should leave that one out. It's so bad. It's so bad. Bad better, better villains than Raimi, Raimi. Better but... Spider-Man and Garfield. Agreed. Uh, worse Peter Parker in Amazing. No, no yeah. good, no good scenes. That at was all. not a good Peter Parker. For example, I mean, everyone, did, you know, the the meme about Toby catching the thing, but his interaction in school was a heavy part of portrayal of Spider-Man and Peter. You know, what I mean, that's a big part of his life is school and how he interacted. What I didn't like is how is how um, Andrew Garfield acted as Peter. Like he acted so like. My thing about Peter is, like, he still has, like, little humorous quips as Peter Parker. He's not, like, this anxious, like, guy that's like, all right, well, I just, I'm going to just go to a corner. Like, that's how yeah, I felt yeah. with this guy the whole time. Like, he was just they made to For me, they talk. made Andrew Garfield and Electro's character similarly. Like, they're just... Yeah, they're just, like, these anxious, really nervous scared, guys. Scared, like, oh, don't I don't want to do anything. Right, it's like, right. Yeah. It's like, no, That wasn't I'm... Peter. Peter got picked on a lot, but he wasn't, like... But he, he still never... made jokes and Yeah, he was like, oh, you're a bloodhead. You right. know what I mean? Yeah, he still Something. defended himself, too. He was a, yeah, it was never... He was a good character, but a bad piano. Yeah. Amazing yeah. was childish, wasn't crazy about either villain, like the Spidey though. Better villains than Raimi, better Spider Man. I just like how it he seems acted a pretty as Spider Man. General, general consensus yeah, about that. that. Spider Man is Garfield, goes to Garfield, and Peter Parker goes to Maguire. Yep. And I liked him as Spider Man, like he was so different as Peter and Spider Man, and I was like, but the point is, is they're supposed to be the be same, the same character. That's the thing, Spider, <laughs> and that's why it gets irritating. Is because at the end of the day, Peter Parker is Spider Man. You should be able to portray to both portray of them both pretty of them easily. Wait, and it's like he acted like such this anxious, nervous sure guy as Peter Parker. But... Oh yeah, definitely. But then as Spider Man, he's like more confident. He's more funny. He's more you know witty. And I'm like, eh, that's just weird. Garfield reminds me of Soup's boring, who I just want to see do action, too depressing. It was, I'd say, not as Maybe bad not. as three of Raimi's, but the two were f somewhat, especially because they did the Gwen storyline, which is always a sad one. <sighs> yeah, it's sad and it's good. I mean, it's a good storyline. Like story it's line. the only thing, in my opinion, that saved that. The ama I was not the biggest fan of Amazing. My favorite part of Amazing was he had mechanical <laughs> wedding. I know, right? <laughs> uh, at least they did do the Gwen Stacy storyline because, man, they fucked that up in three. Cough, <laughs> want more oh, Blade bad. stuff, cough, but uh, it's been too long since I watched any of the Spider-Man movies, but I really, really want to play the new Spider-Man game. Oh, looks fantastic. It's alright. The, the, I haven't honestly Watched watching any of the Spider-Man movies in years. Any of them. Yeah, of them. I haven't. I've touched on Amazing and uh, Spider-Man 2 them, lately, but I haven't but like sat and actually watched, watched them. them full through. Yep. I haven't watched um, that first one as, in a minute. As far as that, I do agree. I would love to see more Blade. I loved all of the Blade movies. Oh, Every single one of them. Blade Trinity, man. Yeah. <sighs> They're all good, man. I like them all. Uh, New they, Blade? They I were talking it about it, but I don't... Do you know thing, any possibilities for Blade? I think like, there are possibilities, really? and I saw something I about, it. Uh, about it. Michael shared it with me a little early, and I nice. want to check it out. Um, who would you cast as Blade for Reboot? Same person who was the original Blade. He's still around. He was a great Blade, and I don't think he should replace him. Wesley Snipes still looks pretty good He's his a age. pretty good-looking guy. I just... Jamie Foxx as a possible... Mm, and nah. Uh, Snipes too, will be too baby cool. face, in my Wesley opinion. Wesley Snipes, who else? Man. Um... I just elbow could be could pretty cool. It's a pretty cool black dude. Um, who's uh, what's his name from Fast and the Furious? Um, oh, uh, Tyrese. Tyrese. Yeah. yeah, he will be pretty cool. I think. I think he would yeah, build he off would, he would, with the glasses. Yeah, yeah, I definitely could see that. Especially, I would love to see him in a crew cut too. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It'd be, really it'd be nice to see him a little bit different. You yeah, know? yeah. He didn't like it at the end though. Oh, uh, well, maybe didn't. he didn't. I don't know. I thought he'd been petitioning even to be Blade yeah, again. I thought Especially because like he needs big money. Thing. <laughs> I know he needs money. Well, he he had like a whole. He got caught for tax evasion. Yeah, yeah, he got in trouble. And yep, it got jailed. Now he runs a dojo. I loved Amazing. Two directors commentary. You can tell they did try to be close to comics, but you get the feeling Sony are tight the way he explains it. Tony always. Sony always fucks up the Spider-Man films. They do. So we and I'm glad that, that the MCU got this one. Oh, God, thank you. Ryan Gosling is Blade. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. I, uh, <laughs> fan image I saw looked good for Jamie Foxx. And he might... I think he's too pretty. Honestly. He's a, he's a very beautiful man. <laughs> he is, though. You're not he lying. Is. Lying. Gotta go... Gotta go phone is about to die. I'll get back on it. Alright, All right, we'll see, see you soon, you Mikey. Get to work, Mikey. That's a joke, Adam. Ha <laughs> ha.
I, I figured. Oh. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, it is. Um, <laughs> throw up in mouth, basically. Throw up. Yeah, I just burst out laughing. I couldn't it's even. Valid. Ha ha. I would be like Ryan Gosling. Go play Green Lantern now, since Ryan Reynolds didn't work out. I know, right? Psych. Uh, <laughs> who else? Could Runner twenty forty seven stars Ryan. Yeah. It does. What would you think he of? It, I know he trimest. might not fit the character too well, but I almost just want to see him because I think it'd be an interesting depiction. Uh, Idris Elba. That's played. what I said. Idris yeah. Elba was my number one pick. Nice. I I think it would be an interesting take, and I think he's a great actor and has very versatile roles. Drake Bell's Nightwing. I don't know. Is it, is it real? I think he just like wants to be Robin. Or I he thought just they officially released thing. it. I don't think he's Robin, dude. Not yet. I mean, I'll just do a quick Google yeah, search. Yeah, we'll look. But I've, I'd seen some stuff, and it's probably just Hulk. Yeah, because I the stuff I've Can seen we is he tweeted the it. The fidget spinner from Marky's. <laughs> I know, right? The original, but he's Heimdall. That's okay. Heimdall's probably gonna die in the next movie. <laughs> It's pretty sad. Oh my gosh. Tease his Nightwing role. So nothing's been really confirmed, it looks like. What? I don't know what that's supposed to mean. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. I'm about this. Wait, is this, the that is this is the original Robin? Isn't it? I Adam think West? It might be. Or yeah, this this is him. It's hard to tell without the goddamn mount. Robin the Maskin. Sun, yeah. Right, right, right. What's this, though? Chicken. Oh! Mm. This is definitely weird. I <laughs> can't make that out, man. It looks like, like a knight. Suit of armor it's a nightwing. It's... Nightwing, okay. Knight and wing. Yep. Uh, uh, well, there's nothing official. We'll see. I think Dick do Grayson. Fine. Dick Grayson. Oh, that's who it is. No, uh... Dick Van Dyke with the gray picture. I was like, I, I was wondering if that was him. But... Mm. Yeah, I don't think it's any confirmed. I don't, honestly, I don't Man, think, I think anything's been confirmed be, for most of those DC yeah, movies. I, I think he wants what? to be, but who Do knows? we even have confirmed... <laughs> we don't even have a hard Robin. We don't even have a hard Nightwing. Like, that's just a speculation. Um, we don't... I thought we, we did have... have a, I thought we did for... He's gonna pop up, but he's not, like... He doesn't, doesn't have, have his own movie, movie or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's like... I thought he, he was gonna show up in, in back... Or, I thought he was gonna show up in, what is it, Batgirl or Batwoman? Because Whedon wanted that oh, one, didn't he? What? Yeah, Batgirl with uh, Joss Whedon. Yeah. No. I just don't know, man. I don't know, man. A black Bond would be cool. I would really like uh, Idris Elba for the next 007, honestly. Yeah. I really do. I, I agree. Especially because there's nothing in the in either the written stuff or the movies about Bond, Bond being, being any specific color. Race. Just about him yep. being British. That's it. So that's and all you... And there's Elba tons a British of, guy. Yeah, there's, well, there's, there's tons of black British guys. I mean, it's... Oh, yeah. That you know mean, what I mean? Yeah. It's like seeing yeah. people... There are black people born in England. Yeah, it's, it's like, you know, uh, people are just so crazy about it. They're like, no, he has to... I'm like... No, he doesn't. Well, like, there's not, not a so single focused book on that. that says... Excuse me, Bond is Caucasian. Not, not a, single a single book. And if there is, feel free to correct me, but I have read the series. Oh. Sure we're up to date there. It was, that was the other thing, too. They were giving him shit about being um, Roland in the Dark Tower series for Stephen, or Stephen King. Why? To be fair, in the books, Roland is somewhat with the very... And I want to say with the very exception being, I don't think they mention his color ever. And I've read those... There's seven books, but mm -hmm. I've read the shit out of them. And they do describe him as rough, tumble, this and that, like a cowboy. But, but never... Ne race. I don't think they call... I don't think they describe never him as white. Now, they might, and I might be wrong, but even if they did, Stephen King is co-producing this shit. If he's good with it, then you should shut the fuck up. And that's how I feel about Bond. Like, I've read all of the, mo all of the books. I've seen all the movies. I know that the Bonds before have all been white, but that doesn't mean that... James Bond is a white character. They never said one time he was born here and he is of Caucasian descent. Never said it. They and, and never said and, it one and time. And even had they did, like I said, when when you get to the point that the the character's creator is, it's like no, nah, let him play it. Why didn't change? I said, I, in my Nick theory, theory. Oh god, yeah. Samuel L. Jackson's a great Nick Fury. Great Nick Fury, fantastic. God what about damn the comics? World. Wasn't he white in the comics? But again, the comics source material is the books. Yep, the comics are an interpretation of the of books. The books. And so the person who wrote the comics did it with the comics and their personal interpretation of a character. Of the Bond, yep. So anyone's Bond could look 
Like any, anyone. He could be Hispanic. I mean, it could be any Asian. kind of Asian. He anything. could be anything. As long as he's born in Indo-European. Whatever that's <laughs> like, you know what I mean? He could be, be mixed. I mean, it just doesn't matter. Uh, as long as he's born in And like I said, even the thing with the, the role character, like, I don't want to miss out on a great portrayal of a character because of racial... Race. Either side of it. Like, if they can't portray the character, I don't think it has anything to do with the color. No. For, like I said, Idris Elba is probably the perfect character to play Roland. Everything I've I seen agree. from the commercials it's, looks amazing. If anything, it's the acting and the direction. Like, that's 100%. what matters. Like, well, and, 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 of course, source material yeah. and how they tie that in and things like that. And that's why we say, like, you know, as much as we blame Garfield or Toby for this or that, you have to blame the studio because the studio at the end of the day said, this is what we want and this is what we accept. And Sony just took... And my thing about Sony is they started out each Spider-Man uh, series pretty strong. The first one the on both, first of, them one on both of them were great. And I very will watch good. them over and over. The second one for the Sam Raimi, just as good. I thought it was... I, I'd, I'd give it... Yeah, it's pretty uh, fucking good. It's good, good man. It's and I, and I like it for nuclear Doc fission. Yeah, yeah man, the I, whole Harry thing is still oh, in it. So great. That is such and a great got, connection. And, and, and what's good about Harry is the development of his character through the three movies. Mm -hmm. He is always there. He hates Spider-Man. Doesn't know Peter's Spider-Man for a while. But when he figures out, he's out to get him. And they definitely squeeze that in into all the films. They do. There's a lot of... And that, I think that gives so much development, though. If you don't give an attachment to these characters, that was Why, one how thing are we about... Gonna get attached? That was one thing about The Amazing Spider-Man. I could not get em empathize with the character. There was no... Uh, are you talking about Andrew Garfield's Peter Parker? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was, it was very hard to follow this guy because, like, basically he's just a guy who walks around the halls all days and says nothing. Let's see. How do you feel about race swapping in Spider-Man, i.e. Flash? I.e. Flash. Liked it. Let's not spoil, though. Um, I did like the race swapping. Liz Allen, we already know. Yeah, I saw the, ra the the Rick and Morty trailer actually dropped a little while ago. But yeah, I did see it. It's the one with Summer. And they announced oh, their yeah. release okay. date on July, July 27th. 27th or something yes. like that. Yes, yes it is. It's got to be. It's not, paying for, it's not playing for me. Oh well, we are sorry. Here, let me try to mm. close some stuff out. Maybe refresh yeah, the page. I think I think I'm good. I just got two tabs open. Like Glad to, to know you like it there. though. I do like the race swapping Lachlan all for it. I like that the MCU has done a lot of race swapping, and the characters are still just as great. Are you all ready for a Miles Morales Spider Man? Yes, but I do want to see um, Tom Holland Spider Man develop and grow. A the while. thing is, you in order to introduce a Miles Morales, you gotta you, have some development yeah, you, in Peter Parker. Yeah, there's <laughs> no, there's no trade off there. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, I want it, but but we gotta have a older Peter who yep. can mentor Miles and can take him through. The animated movie will be good. Yep, I definitely gr agree. I really hope so because Miles Morales is a fucking awesome oh, Spider Man. Dude. Like he, he really is. Awesome. If any, if anybody follows Peter Parker. Well, it's Miles. Morales. Honestly, Miles acts more like Peter does did now than Peter. Than Peter does. does. <laughs> yeah, he's like Peter's very. Peter almost acts like Tony, Tony Stark, Stark right now. now. Yeah, he's and, very and billionaire and Playboy now. And I mean, you got Miles Morales who's still fighting the street level crime mm -hmm. for the most part. I mean, he gets involved in some of the higher level, but he gets involved, and that's the thing about Spidey is that he gets involved, but on the most part, he is a street level fighter. Let's not forget that. He fights the streets. He fights the guys that are on the streets. Just like the... Which is why I wish they would cross over the shows. Just so that Spider-Man could kind of interact with them a little bit. Because they are street level fighters. Be awesome to have Spider-Man fight with them. Definitely. And not only that, they're actually semi-involved uh, in, in their comics. Yeah. Especially because they're street level heroes. Characters such as... Uh, Spider-Man, Daredevil, Daredevil, Luke Cage, Luke. they'll occasionally come together, and it and and in good ways usually. You know, well, obviously all superhero <laughs> meetings start with a fight. Yeah, because the Spider-Man um, number one hundred of Marvel Tales, Spider-Man and Luke Cage are duking it out pretty hard for their first meeting. Like yeah. they're just like, which is boom, 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 which boom, some boom. of it is because <laughs> Luke Cage is is uh, a, a hero for hire, and they hired they hired him to take down Spider-Man. Yeah, because Spider-Man was a menace. Yep, yeah. but then Spider-Man definitely proves to him like, no, he's actually a hero. 
and he ends up calling him he ends up like dissing him for his like heroism he's like nah you're not really a hero you're just a guy who's getting paid and like Luke Cage gets pissed at him <laughs> let's just say the fight is <laughs> pretty pretty intense go check out Marvel Tales number 100 see what I'm talking about but yeah the animated movie definitely looks like it'll be great I'm hoping that I'm hoping that by then and when when is the animated movie set to come out? Oh god, I... uh, like twenty twenty ish. Pretty down the it's line. It's a little ways It's away. a little down the line. They're getting so cast they're gonna, together they're, right they're now. They're actually gonna do um, a spider a Spider Man two with uh, oh my goodness Tom Holland. Sorry guys, pretty long day. Um, but they're gonna do a second one with Tom Holland. So let's hope that we see a lot of development in this character and we get to see him, you know, grow a little bit and become what he is. Maybe in the comics, maybe not even that close, but just grow a lot to where he can take on somebody who's, you know, just discovered their powers like him and now he's training them and helping them out. And 2019, I think I heard for animated? Really? Because I was here in 2019 for the Tom Holland sequel. Might be both. Maybe so, which would be kind of awkward, but... Then again, this animated movie My could not could be a completely uh, different... Not even just that, but Marvel's marketing and everything for their animated series is terrible. Fucking awful, man. Awful. Like, that's oh, one... Are we that is... animated only? Are we talking... Are we talking movies or animated? Animated. Okay, I got lost. Animated... Well, God animated awful. anything. I've Marvel <laughs> has not done good in Marvel... In animation since... 90s? The Spider-Man and the X-Men. Were those were those were the probably the last and and more so like the animated movies than the shows. They still the have shows some are shows. Pretty good, I They're would okay, say. okay, but yeah. they lack severely in the animated movie department. Yeah. That is the only area where I will say DC just stomps them again and again. And it seems like this animated movie, if I'm not mistaken, might be tied to a universe. I think it is. Well, if it's MCU cool. or whichever one it is, we'll we have we'll to have see, to see. But... Yeah, the Holland sequel will take place minutes after Infinity War. Whichever one it is. Oh. They said another oh, Avenger will be in number two. Okay, that, is, not that, that isn't Stark. Cap, maybe? Maybe so. We'll just have to see. I very much doubt with... Cap. It's probably going to be someone he makes a connection with in with Infinity, Infinity Wars. War. Yeah, because it's like we got to see what happens in Infinity War. Well, and I don't know if Cap's going to make it past Infinity War. Remember, he's not scheduled right. to come back, so they're going to need to find a way to keep to... his character away. And who knows and what's going to happen? Death is the easiest yep. way. <laughs> death is the Always. cheapest way. Yes. Said Fai Fie. Said Fai They said another Oof. Avenger. Oh, darn Fai Yeah, if you him, he's just a hard guy to I believe. I mean, to honestly, be to be honest, anything flip-flops. anyone releases anymore, I'm just like take it with a grain right. of salt you because know, it's so it can, much. Media it could be different and, tomorrow. Yep. Like I mean, honestly, I could change oh, your mind. No, moment. he's coming in the fourth. He's coming in the fourth. Who? Who's coming in the fourth? Cap. I think they're talking about the fourth Avengers movie, and they're talking about Spider-Man, but I'm talking about the other... We're talking about Cap coming in uh, Spider-Man Homecoming 2, which is very highly unlikely. Chris Evans' contract is... Well, I think... I thought he said that... I don't know. Man, it's so hard to keep up with all the news. In the fourth Avengers movie, or...? Because he has a contract. He extended his contract to uphold these last two movies. Yeah, he'd already extended, and they said he didn't want to do it anymore. He's, he's been pretty clear about the fact that he's pretty done playing Captain America, which is fine. You stay in a role he, too long. And he won't. said, he was like saying, like, I will finish it off, though, because his contract was up. Oh, it was up at, were, after Winter Soldier, Winter Soldier, but they, no, because he came back for Civil War. Right, but and that I think was, he had one more, but then he signed on for that second untitled Avengers movie. Maybe See, he'll be in the fourth Avengers. Yeah, we know yeah. that. Yep. But we were that, talking about the the Tom the Holland, Tom sequel. Holland, Spy, Spider Man, him being in there. I, I can't. And I see very it. much doubt it. Well, more for two reasons: the character and the real life stuff. But even the fact that Cap, what what's gonna go on there? What interaction is there to be had Cap between Spider Man? Like that's awkward. It's like <laughs> all right, one punches Nazis, the other beats up burglars. Burglars, burglars you know what I mean? Right. It's, like, it's like cool. Hopefully he'll die. He's probably gonna die. He said the fourth will complete it for. I yep. wanted him to die in Civil War. Oh, Cap, yeah. yeah. I thought it would have been a cool way for him to go out. But, mm, well, well it's see. also tough. It, it's such a rift. I mean, that whole Civil... The original Civil War is so good at tearing a rift in between even the fans. Like, mm-hmm. if you were on Iron Man Man's side, side or, or, or Cap side, and it's like, well, it's no, like, the registration sh- had to happen, or, you know, well, the no, they shouldn't have registered right? nobody. I've also heard they won't release the Phase 4 untitled names of the movies as it will spoil future stuff. 
What could that mean in your opinion? Stuff like new, new Captain, Captain America, America stuff Buffy's and... legacy. I don't know, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, like, right. It, and I was it wouldn't do it, but he, there was like a picture going around with him with like a cap shaped shield on his back. And oh, like, I mean that's a fan that, that might happen. Time, I mean, but... it, after Cap dies, like, I would really like what to see it. Yeah. I'd like I'd like to see Bucky go Cap, but they need to develop him further. Maybe in Infinity yeah, because War, what's Black going Panther. on with him right now he's wouldn't make sense for him. To yeah, he's just in a tube. No one loves him. And you know, I, I'm hoping that second in, second Avengers is Infinity Gauntlet, and that's what I think. It's just gonna. It's be gonna. Be, it should bad. be right. Infinity War, then Infinity, Infinity Gauntlet. Gauntlet. That's the, the thing is that, and that would be so great because that would also be a good way to get rid of Cap. Exactly. But for those who don't know, in the original Infinity Gauntlet run, Thanos kills half kills the universe. A bunch of people. No, like literally half. Oh, that was the exact, <laughs> the exact wording of the comics is he killed half. Make it by the way, which makes it. Like the biggest singular death toll in comic history, or something. E- like even if you destroyed I the mold, that holy crap! It's super ridiculous, and especially because it it's a recurring universe and not just the whole universe is dead. Mm-hmm. Like if you destroy the universe, you didn't technically kill anybody, right? Technically, but, they, but Thanos just straight up killed. Him. He wasn't even. It wasn't a bullet. Out. It wasn't. It's was like nah, dead, oh, dead. Yep. Like, like a god like like god, god. Like, literally like god looking gone. down on people and boom that it's was like it done it was pretty much like half the uh, people I think Bucky should be in Black Panther that would be awesome but I don't think it will oh be. I didn't even see that one. Oh, it's I might be my, mine's I can't get the stream to work oh oh I'm sorry sorry I, about that me, yeah wait it's, I don't know what else to do there I don't know this, it's working on our end Close more shit. Definitely close it back out and then come back in if you're still having trouble. Do you think he'll be in Black Panther? Yeah, uh, yeah, I think it would be cool to have Bucky in there. Let's just like definitely I said, keep I, the focus I, on I think, BP. Right. I think it would be cool to have him in there. I don't think it's going to happen because it would take too much focus. Right. <laughs> Transformers Maybe. cartoon movie, all G1 destroyed. Really? Okay. Uh, Just briefly, Why would though, they get rid of the whole cool... first generation, though? It would be a cool like Obviously Easter egg. Well, well, more I think, than a few but... deaths. Thank God, though, they need to have more serious consequences. We in need the to, yeah, universe. and that's the pro. Here's the problem we're running into with just about every MC mo- MCU movie. Where are the consequences? Yeah, you have to have. There, consequences. there really aren't too many. And heavy comic, ones. trust me, comics aren't good about consequences a lot of time, and they have to make a point to like kill people off, and they still bring them back later. Yeah, but, but even just to have someone die for because t- they're going to bring Superman back, but that was probably the best part about that BVS. There was a the consequence. Deaths. There's consequences. Civil to War. Fights. Nothing happened. Yeah. They got jailed. Great. Yeah. Well, and then they escape. Yep. You know what I mean? He obviously goes to save them. No one dies. No one loses a hand. No one. Like, and that's one thing they have been, I don't know, but at the same time, it's comic. Especially Marvel is is aimed at being more universally accepted. And to be so, you cannot be as edgy, unfortunately. You can't, but the thing is, man, how many movies are we going to go through before somebody real major gets messed up? As in, killed. The thing is, so whatever. technically, the biggest one be, would have been Avengers, Phil Coulson. But they brought him back in back. Agent of <laughs> S.H.I.E.L.D. Well, he's not in any of the other movies, so if you don't count S.H.I.E.L.D. continuum, yeah, but it's part but of it. So, yeah, he came back. One, One problem, problem with, with MCU movies is actors aging as well. They have to get fresh blood in eventually. I mean, well, I don't really agree with that one at all because... I like the no development. One, I mean, oh, I mean, the like, development of the age, but they're, never, they're not going to do... Now, they might have to recast 40 years from now when they do a reboot. But there, there is no series I'm that's cool going to last with, 30 I'm years. I'm cool with and RDJ being Iron Man. Character. Unless but, they're children. In which case, children, yes, age out of their cast. But besides children, everybody else should be Here's my thing. Here's my take on all of that. It's cool to keep Steve Rogers cast as Chris Evans and RDJ cast as Iron Man, Robert Downey Jr. as uh, Tony Stark. I'm cool with that. Let's move into some new characters instead of changing well, casting and here's, for the same role. Well, and not, even more than that, they're... Like that's my point. They're not gonna make another Iron Man movie. No. So they don't need to recast no need until to they do a reboot. Going with that's, RDJ. That's my thing. Stuff there and... is no superhero who's going to have twenty, thirty year span movies. The only one who's even been close is Wolverine. 
Yeah. And Hugh Jackman, and guess what? He still didn't age out of his role. In fact, he wasn't even aged <laughs> enough for his role. Right? He wasn't even old <laughs> enough for his role. They had to digitally alter him to be digitally. older looking. And, and and like I said, we, we would have watched him for another 20 years. Oh, yeah. I, I would have easily gone on, to Hell, be Hell, no, no. I, I would have say actually, no. Only Cut because that last movie was so good do I feel that way. If Logan? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, but be, but because but besides that, like if I think about it, I didn't want to see another Wolverine movie again after X2. After after Logan? No, uh, no. No, before that one, I didn't want to see another one cuz I no? thought they were going to fuck it up. Oh, oh, you're we're talking Logan. way before all of like uh the Wolverine, the reboot and no, stuff. No, I'm or... talking the second one. Cuz you said sucked. X2. Yeah, you were saying after X2, right? Cuz that came out before Oh, all no, I'm stuff. sorry. I meant uh Wolverine 2 oh, or Wolverine two, okay. or something. Okay. No, or it's Wolverine. The Wolverine. The Wolverine, that's the one. And that's not to say, uh, <laughs> see, I, wa- I would have watched him after all of the X-Men movie because it wasn't all about him. It was a lot about him, but it wasn't all it about, was him, about him. And there was focus to other characters. In his own movies, they did badly, so I didn't really want to see another one. The only reason I want to see more now is because Logan did so well. Mm-hmm. But I guarantee you, two, three movies from now, when they f- mess one up, after that Origins, bro, I was like, I don't want to see another standalone. Yeah, there's no way. Civil after War that, was know. great for picking of sides, though. It didn't swing too far in either side. Detail wise, I was probably harder to do. Definitely, that was nice. Yeah, and I thought, but, and I thought it was cool that they kind of positioned it in a way where it's like they did a lot of good job. Like, is this instance, side right? Is this side right? You know, yeah, you it's like who's right? Side. You don't Mor- know morally. It and can, also that Easter egg that was Peter Parker. They actually confirmed that to be false. Kevin Feige really? corrected wow. Tom Holland and said... Because Tom Holland, Tom Holland was the one said, who came forward and was Tom like, Holland, I was him. Tom Holland even said, like, I made that up and I didn't think it would get that big. Wow, but yeah, if you look it wow. up, Tom Holland, uh, I Iron figured Man, that was that was BS, to be honest. Hoax, I think, would be... Yep. Uh, Tom Holland confirms, yeah, but then there's... Because I've seen all the stuff of him confirming it, but... Yeah, Tom Holland tries tricks into watching Iron Man 2, but we still... <laughs> Tom Holland. Right. AV Club, Huff Post, those are pretty good publications, but if Kevin Feige came came up and said I it really was thought he did. I saw and something then Tom about Tom Holland book. confirmed, but well, maybe I know I know he came forward and said that it was. Yeah, he did, but that's like saying what's her face came forward and said there was gonna be an Aunt May movie. I don't really Oh think my god, no! No! No, dude, no Aunt May standalones. <laughs> She was like, I'm cool with doing that. Like, well, I'm not, so. Yeah, because I haven't seen anything about Kevin Feige saying anything against it, but it could still easily, mm, I don't know, just because Tom Holland came for it and said it, he wasn't involved at that point, like, and it wasn't him, some random little kid that they cast with the Iron Man mask, it wasn't him. I want to see more X-Men Quicksilver. Agreed. I do like him. What's up, Jamie? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Did you find a source? Uh, all I'm finding are those ones, and they're all from the same one. Not only that, they're all so flimsy. Oh, my God. AV Club is actually a pretty good source. Oh, God. I don't trust... I, when I look at it and I can see well, its sources, it's... Club. I know, but I, I saw the other ones Joe even. Bro. like <laughs> I've seen those ones. I don't know. I don't really put much trust. So let's go even I into the I can't for sure be hard on that. Uh, that most of these websites, like, like I said, 10, I don't even 10. trust the government when they post stuff. So if you don't have... That kid was supposed all to be all right, like so 10, this, too. This is all kids, useless. See this? Even though this is from the Nerdist, worthless. No fucking sources, nothing. Tom Holland himself... It's technically a source, but... but where's the, they don't have his video, they don't have, they don't his, have they his, don't his transcriptions, have they don't have anything. Wow. No, so that's... Come on, Nerdist. I'm sorry, most... Like, I know you recommend a lot of those, but most of them are like that. Dude, most of them don't most have zero sources. Vain. Well, it's not just that. Most of them are opinion pieces, so they don't have to put in... They're commenting on news they've heard. Yeah, and not so stuff that's, that's not hard actually news. But he did come forward and say that. He did say that. I'm not saying he didn't, but... that. Like, you gotta, come on, cite your sources, people. Seriously, or else it didn't happen, basically. I can't believe they didn't include Tom Holland. That's actually not very, like, nerdist. Oh, I like I said, I think that, I, I'm glad you have such a high opinion. Every Everyone does that, dude. All the major companies, well, it, with called, the exception called, of Wall I mean, Street it's and stuff. Right, which is it's fine, but that's not factual. news. <laughs> it's not. That's opinion. That's that entertainment. Here's my thing about. Here's my thing about these just like <laughs> comic book. One of them, Nerdist. Those are heavily opinionated. 
ones that are pretty newsy, actually, are Hollywood Reporter, yeah, AV Club. Even, uh, they're all right. I would say even those are super heavily opinionated. And Huffington lack. Post, especially. Huffington Post. And that was one of the results that came up when you did your first school. Yeah, and that's... And which that's they a, had Tom Collin coming for his same. Yeah, let's see. So, like, even this. Let's see what we got. So, I got a transcription, but do I have... We nope, got a I have question no, about Snoke theories. I don't like the Snoke theories so far. To be honest, and I would be fine with nothing. Snoke being a completely new let's character. See, let's see if Hollywood Reporter um, has some. But I, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure during your first search, Hollywood Reporter came up. I might be thinking AB Club. Um, it might be Tom Holland Iron Man 2. Uh, it'll fix it. Boom. And then NME, Nerdist, Bleeding Cool, Esquire... Screen rant. Maybe it's not there because they don't have it. <laughs> Maybe no one has good info. I saw on a Huff Post. I thought I did one too. One of those. Maybe it was a link to Huff Post. Because I don't I see it anymore. I saw. That's here. Weird. Let me yeah. actually. I can actually just go back and look at my searches. I think. Is Venom apart? Kevin Feige on Spider Man. Okay, AV Club. Here we go. Let's do the AV. Probably Club. didn't source. This. Yep. Huff Post came up. Nope. No sourcing. Ah uh, well, they they no they don't source it though. They mention where they're getting their information, but they do not source, which is extremely unprofessional for any. So we got Huff Post. We asked Tom Holland, aka the real Spider Man, if the theory is true, and he officially confirmed it. In fact, he triple confirmed it, and he got the info straight from Marvel boss Kevin Feige. It so a lot of it this is Peter the... Parker said Holland. It is we asked. I can confirm that. That is Peter Parker, Holland said. No way, for sure, we asked again. I can confirm that as of today, I literally had a big conversation with Kevin Feige only 20 minutes ago. Maybe I've just done a big old spoiler, but it's out there now, said Holland. It's cool, I like the idea that Peter Parker has been in the universe since the beginning. We like it too, Tom. After all, what's Marvel without a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man? So they don't have... Wow, no one cites... Even if you do the interview, you need to cite yourself. This is an official interview video. I, I believe If they have the interview video, else. then that, that's citable, but I don't see any video of the interview. I don't uh, see any transcription. So. I'm going to go with them. <laughs> that, they're fine. Uh, and then even to the point being, that's also still secondary information. He says Kevin Feige said that. Has Kevin Feige come, come up and up said and that? Said, mm, nah. And will he? Probably not. But well, oh God, that God. I can't believe no one knows way. how to do primary nah, sourcing. Yeah. What the hell, man? I mean, there's how many publications with all this shit? Oh, These I've... people aren't going to source themselves because it's, half of it is not true. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Half of it is fake news, bro. It is. Like, it's all half. It is. It, people make stuff up. So much is just wrong. Well, yeah, what's I, the... I've seen the Tom Holland video. Awesome. See, if they have a video, then why not source it? Yeah, but there's like all these dumb gifts. Yeah, why do like, I have to look the at the gif oh, of hold the on. Is that it? Nope. Oh, that's, that's just it's the, the thing point. of Iron Man, yeah, and that's what I keep seeing on all the pages instead of actually seeing. That's kind of cool though. If he actually is the kid, it would be oh, awesome, that would be and that'd awesome, be fine. Yeah. If it is, that'd be a great thing. It does kind of like the little Peter that dress. The way... oh, hold on. Let's see. Like I said, we I'm sure the video. Official interview though. Peter Parker. Like, yeah, let's the... not hear a a video of them saying, you know, narrating over a picture. Like I said, dude, where it, interviews are supposed to be done recorded. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, hold on. Hold Is on. it audio? Do we have an audio? Well, nope. Sound like it. Nope, that's personal. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> no, nope, 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 nope. Oh, Until nope, I hear Tom Holland's voice saying it. Yup. I think we can officially say What do you guys think about the Venom standalone? Loose. So happy. Tiffany uh, Tatiana? Hey, hey, how are you doing? Hey, what's up? Class, it's all right. Thanks you for coming. The kid was supposed to be like 10 too. I think the kid was like six at most. Yeah. I want to see more. If you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month.